Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Max Mode Atlanta, Georgia. This is the grand finale. We've had a lot of great games, a lot of great matches, but now we're tuning in to Tekken 8, Top 8. I'm, here, I'm Kari Safari here with... Vector Spectre. And How's it going, y'all? And we've got... The first game, we've got King Ray Jr. versus Golden Seth. I have not seen Golden Seth, a hometown, he not a hero, hometown frequent. Maybe getting <laughs> his way up to yeah, hero yeah, stats. Yeah, he's getting up there. The but I'm, effect. I'm excited to see him up here in top eight. I have not seen him play Tekken 8 yet. I, I know he played Zafina in seven. I, I assume he would be playing Zafina in eight. I'm not sure, though. Uh, we're going to see in a second. I was driving up here during, during top 16. So. Yeah. And... I, uh, been putting in some work this weekend mm -hmm. by the looks of things too. You yeah, know, ran had to uh, run into Brandometry 0 and 2 in pools. Yeah, just to get out in winter side, and yeah. uh, has already put in a heck of a weekend. It's yeah, he's had to make multiple what I would consider to be upsets to get here. He's still in top eight on day three. Hasn't lost a single game or not a single game, single set. <laughs> I'm sure he's lost a game. Maybe. Oh, we'll look. We'll back. Look back through it. You know, the odds, you know, we may be in Atlanta, but Vegas is in effect, Get keep it in mind. And uh, King Ray, y'all already know, been on a tear since this game got started. That Oscar still scary as all heck. I still don't trust y'all Oscar down players. You, you know, I think in every game, there's a, there's a group of people who uh, they just, they're not as strong as their character. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, for sure. And Ray's definitely been the uh, antithesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grinded all throughout T7. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Florida Crew, we just saw that growth in leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's starting to pay off here. Ooh. All right. Back three checks, but good yeah. bit of distance. That's a tough one to catch. And no punish on that back three. I wonder what he's going to have for it. Yep. There is that fear. That's oh, good block. That's the oh. first one. First nice. drink at the well, and you're poisoned? Nice. He didn't have to do all that. He didn't have to do heat activate and everything. Got to boil that water first, man. Just saying. Oh, nice backdashing and the whiff punish. Just a small. Oh, large punish, but no. Went high. He's confident. He's confident he'll get another chance. Oh, for sure. You, know, you got to oh. take your swings when you can. But good pickup from right here, though. All right. Glowy bits in effect. Oh. oh, ooh, that was nice. You oh, and he still there. got the tailspin. What? More? More? Ooh. More? Ooh. Oh, just about got oh, the wall. He was about to be there. Garfield, you had first. Ooh. Man, that was clutch. That back three catching out the throw, and everything was disaster from there. King Ray keeping this momentum, too. Yeah. Immediately using his burst. Saw a little blood in the water. And Ooh, oh, tiger shark. Nothing. The, the, <laughs> the scariest mix-up you've ever seen that does zero damage. Oh, it's the mental damage that yeah. adds up. Nice. Oh, okay. Clean break on the one plus two. Golden Seth's got a lot of gray on his side. Quick little tap. I like it. Ooh. Seth popping rage. Catching the backflip. At least try to get a little bit of this life built back. I like King Ray's uh, decision to just sort of back off and just wait out the wait out the heat. Yeah, I mean that thing's got a lot of reach if you ain't looking for it. But you know, to your point, patience. And oh, oh. this should kill. I think he's not gonna get a wall or anything. Oh, oh he quiet. lives. Three seconds though. Not a lot of time. I don't think it's possible. Not I don't. Quite. Oh my god. Okay. Not quite. I was wondering if he was about to super and just time freeze and kill him. It would have been close. Yeah, for sure. Another half second. Maybe you get that. Oh, oh, but no punish on the whip. Punch parry from Ray. Might have been overextending a little bit on the uh, on the whip punish. And we see that Ray likes to sort of just use his heat immediately, right at the uh, first opportunity, and Absolutely. just sort of do as big a damage as he can as soon as he gets his first big launcher. Oh God, punish! Woo! Nice, good catch. We're staying in this fight right now. Is this a breakable wall? No, right? Nah. Um, yeah, this one, staying firmly oh. in place. Back turn? Oh, no. But and gets counter tech. hit. Yep. That's going to be 1 0 Ray early. Yeah, a bit of a scramble. A little bit. Uh, some good signs from Golden Seth there, though. For you sure. Know, some When he was getting able to get the ball rolling, was doing some work. But mm -hmm. a couple of just, you know, 
missed opportunities on some lifts. You know, trying to kind of overcommit to kind of account for that and uh, got blowed up, blowed up for him. So mm. hopefully we do see a little bit more of that kind of that, you know, discretion coming up for game two here. Yeah, yeah. And, but so we were talking before the stream started, right, about p different people's heat usage. Exactly. Um, King Ray, like I was saying, likes to use his heat on the burst to just extend a combo, make sure he's going to get as good, at po good as possible battle. situation after his first big hit. Put him in the corner, put him in the wall. This is a huge stage. I don't know if you can make it happen like that. I do like the swap. Honestly, it's a good call. Like, you do still have to deal with a lot of pressure with that Oscar and Heat, but uh, a lot of the usual scary stuff with you back to that wall mm -hmm. may be mitigated. A bit of a poke fest early on here. Yeah, it's a oh, and the forward one plus two, good call. A little bit of sussy shadow back there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good launch. That's going to be around here. And uh, stop me if you've heard this before. Armored, high, safe, heat engagers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it's minus nine. It, it should be fine, right? Nah, get that wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's the kick berry. Woo. Oh, smooth. Ooh. Yeah, King kind of on the warpath right now. Oh, good duck. And a good selection for after after the duck by King Ray to hit uh, what's going to – Zafina's trying to crush, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, that's some heads up. That's some knowledge check kind of stuff. Because I know Zafina has some options out of uh, Tarantula, some other stances that look similar but are going to hit mid. We're going to see how much – The grippers. Yep. Gravity screen. Toe, toe oh. oh no! And just couldn't get out of the way. All right, set point here for King Gray. Pace will slow down a little bit, but it looks like Ray's still at least in control of it. Oh, nice. Just a little poke. What's Golden Seth got with his heat? Oh, punch Ooh. parry though. Sabaki's doing work right now for Ray. Does the heat smash start with a punch? That may have been a genius move. Yeah, and it starts with a punch. Uh, it's uh, and uh, it starts as a high as well. So if you kind of got it scattered out, if you timed it up, you've got ways to adjust to it. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ray, yeah. Especially as Oscar with such good defensive, offensive options. Mm -hmm. um, the and you know there's there's one move he really wants to do. Like before the heat runs out, before the time is out on it. Let yeah. me just let me just parry that immediately. <laughs> We got this. We got this. Oh, but nah. Ray looking solid. Um, been playing out of his mind all weekend, and mm -hmm. I'm too shocked by that. But yeah, yeah. Golden Seth going to be sticking around. Yeah, he's still in the tournament. He's now down, and Loser is going yeah. to play against. Uh, we'll find out later. Yep. But uh, right now, we've got two double ATL JJ ah. Breeze versus Poke Chop. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You know, the. Uh, Typical 404 special going on right now. Exactly. I just hate that Don ain't here for it. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, but uh, yeah, ton of ATL representation in top 16, top eight, and uh, it's almost like this place is good at Tekken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, almost like this is the only thing we're good at. Who to thunk? <laughs> almost. <laughs> no, no. We, I mean, we have like third strike, and we have uh, a lot of like really good KO players. But um, Tekken, yeah, definitely renowned. We're known for it. I mean, it's Mecca, man. Tekken Mecca. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice ring to it. The the Coliseum stage, the music, I feel like it has two distinct parts. Mm -hmm. One of them is not good. Okay. The the one that sounds like a Final Fantasy Prairie where it's like, dan, 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 dan. Yep. and then the it's got the chanting part. Oh, yeah, the yeah. The chanting part is good. I'm picking up on what you put there. <laughs> You know, it's kind of like uh, the new Helipad Knight kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. well, okay. Uh, except Helipad Knight, the first part's the good part, <laughs> and the second part's the even better. The so, so, no, the thing is, Helipad Knight, it, it puts you on edge, and it's, like, awful. Helipad, <laughs> but on, on top of all that, it gives Helipad Day a bad rap. Mm -hmm. 
helipad day was good. Helipad day ain't even trying. <laughs> you know, you want some hype? You ain't going there in the, in the AM. The, uh, yeah. You go in there to get your coffee and your baguette and mm. stuff like that. You ain't going there for fists. You ain't going there for hype. Helipad Day was nice and smooth, jazzy. Wow, 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 wow. No. I, I can't argue that. Though. That's facts. But uh, we got better jazzy setups now. Yeah, yeah. We've got Paris Stage. Got the boat. Don't you ever forget. Nah. I guess uh, just to kick a, a kick a dead horse a little bit longer. Character select theme. Good thing. I. I don't mind it, and it gets stuck in my head, and I, I don't get frustrated at it. Okay. Um, it's not like um, season three, I think, character select screen from second seven. Yeah. That was like blaring. It's just a different mood. It yeah, works. Yeah. It plays so much better offline, for real. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's looking like we're just about to get things kicked off. Uh, Something going on. It looks like we may be adjusting. Uh, I want to put it on tournament mode. Yeah. Because oh like, yeah, because Chop and Pools, he had a set where the two rounds had to be given up due to pausing the, the game. Yay. So Chop does not want any of that stuff happening uh, now. Just put it in tournament mode. No pausing uh, possible. Yeah. Why try and set fake? Mm -hmm. I totally get that. Uh, but it looks like we are about to get underway here. You already know JJ Breeze rocking that scary, scary good law. Mm -hmm. uh, dragging off on deck uh, for Poke here, and had some solid drag, you know, play before, you know, in T7, mm -hmm. you know, that going beyond even yes, what he was doing with Negan and Josie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you like me and screamed the first time you got hit by the junkyard mid? You know, yeah, it's probably happened a couple times. I found I found out about it in battle one time. That was the first time I found out about it. Ugh. Bugs the heck out of me. You get taught to think something for like 20 years, and next thing you know, oh, you thought wrong. Yeah, yeah. That was all conditioning. Speaking of oh. that small tech and keeping him at the at the wall. Yeah. Oh, but Ooh. poison arrow. Yeah, yeah. Breeze has found his way out. Look at all that healing he's oh. done. Counter hit, nope. jab into death. You press at your own peril. Oh. oh, nice step. What yeah. the? I was getting clipped by that. Big delay on the ender. And now we're starting to see a slide game come to effect. Oh. Poke in the eyes. Okay, downstairs. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ready with the punch. Good looking out, JJ. Oh, and the banana peel round starts. Does that work? Does, the, does he get a flip off of the counter hit banana peel? Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, this, game, this game's still baby mode. Yeah, I yeah, still yeah. have no We're idea. We're still learning. <laughs> Going for the, oh. the running two, but not enough forwards. But we're, uh, we're in there. We're dealing. Okay. Yeah, Chop going for those lows now. Yeah. Last Whoa. couple of rounds, we've just controlling JJ with the jabs and down forward once. Yeah. But uh, JJ not really biting on much. Yeah. You know, trying to put that thread of the low in, work that mid, and uh, JJ's been getting the better of it. Oh, beautiful Waco. That's the thing about Tekken that's like, that makes it so different from other fighting games, is the less your opponent is doing, the more risk you actually have to take. Absolutely. You have to go low, you have to like do something that you might die for on offense. And that's one thing I love about just delaying God. things. Woo! You make them think, and when they think, they die. Although that one was less on thinking and more on just uh, some good reaction from JJ Breeze. Yeah, yeah. All right. Breeze is up early here. 1 0. He got that momentum early and decided, hey, I'm going to check and see how long it takes for you to block low. There we go. I mean, we've seen a couple slides kind of you know ripped off already. Mm -hmm. At least planting that seed early on. You know, you see that crouch. Do you guess? Do you gamble on it being another low, or do you get yourself launched into a strategy? Hammer of the gods. All the hammers. Oh, good block. Got to hold back. Drop turn. Oh, yeah. Nice. I like the one, two, three there. Keep it safe. 
catch anything with a bit. And, uh, ooh, he still got a tornado. Yeah. If he can get a wall here, oh, not quite. Yeah, this, this stage is pretty wide when you first get down here. Yep. It, it's, it's reasonable, it's doable, but... By uh, Lars. Yeah. You just got to have a setup that's going to work out for him. Oh, nice. Catches down forward two. Poked up early here. Uh, even more hit on heals. The and he's still ducking. Heals the heads, man. He's got a lot of health to recover, though. Yeah. If he can hit with a heat engager. Oh, let it rip. Open oh, the heat smash. Going right it through that thing. breaks the armor. God. That drag heat smash just does everything short of uh, cleaning the windows. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, and that delay actually catching this time. But a uh, little, little bit of a weird combo, but it was a weird situation. Good uh, recognition by Chop. Oh, oh, no punish, but he's still in there. Beating the armor. Okay, downstairs he's again. He's trying to burst. Oh, and generic. Lows. Always saving last, baby. So far, this has been a good response from Poke Chop after uh, dropping game one. Good step. Woof! He still got the. And the junkyard on the end of it. Oh, look at this damage, though. Hold up. I've been leaving so much on the table this game. Good lord. Yeah, the tornado at the wall really changes the game, really changes how you can think about your combo. Woo. And here I thought Law's uh, wall game was lagging. I thought it wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, one strings, more hammer fists. Yeah, but I like that. I like that interrupt from Poke though. Got it. Got the out of RA on. Chop still has burst. Yeah. Oh. But uh, that's gonna make things interesting for his final round here. JJ not just gonna be able to get away with the, you know this wall of plus friends. Mm -hmm. Poke Chop already showing he's uh, up for breaking through. Okay. Big block. Oh, let's go. We're sitting on here on game five. JJ already up a game. Yeah. And uh, it, up early here. It is it is first to three, correct? Uh, when it's semis, it's gonna be uh, first. It's gonna be first to two. Okay. Top fighting for his life here. Oh, good to block. Oh, oh, stuck yeah, in the You command. gotta go for those. Oh, yeah. That's why he's ducking now. Oh, oh nice God, duck. good C. Yep, and it's gonna be JJ moving on. Pope, put up a good fight. Might have needed the buff with the, with the whole uh, Captain Atlanta shield thing, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, was doing some work. Has a chance to kind of make his way back uh, down on the bottom side, but uh, we're still living. So now does he, does he stay on? I saw him get up and then he's back down. Might be. To uh, fight Kiss Mercer? Oh, hold up. Let's see, hands on site to, and Shinobi Kun, I heard, get called. Okay. Okay. So we may just uh, be taking some thinking time. Yeah. You know. And um, he doesn't have to, like, desync the controller or anything. We have the PS5's, uh, the Bluetooth has turned off. Mm -hmm. So that has not happened at any point during the tournament uh, for anyone. Shout out. Oh, the Bluetooth has turned off for all of the PS5's. Thank goodness. Because, uh, good Lord. We've been saying it for how long now? Mm -hmm. Desync y'all's controllers? Not or or just get nice. a wired controller like a civilized person. Please, please. That stuff's better uh, for that uh, fidelity, that latency anyways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It applies as much control as it does for cans. You yeah. already know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, some mm. real solid work early on. Uh, mm. I haven't been seeing as much of like those those back and forth kind of games as we had been seeing through most of the weekend. But yeah, so yeah. I heard top 16 was very um, one-sided as well. I feel like that happens uh, when the game is early and not everyone like has all of the defensive knowledge that we're, no, we're, we're cu uh, <laughs> accustomed to, used to, right. from the end of T7, you know? Uh, everyone sort of like knows the baseline of what everyone else's character does. True enough. True enough. And, uh, and to a point, it also speaks to just how much potential for damage there is in this game. Mm -hmm. You know, even early on, you know, that sort of narrative has gone from, hey, we're not going to see those two touches of death situations. Yeah. And then yeah. you start seeing people weave those kind of heat dashes 
you know, these other options in to really let that damage pile on. And using the heat burst to make things full launchers that aren't supposed to be launchers. True enough. Like, uh, like Lee's while sending 1-3. Yeah. So, I mean, we're seeing a different way that that damage is being delivered. Mm -hmm. But it's still just buckets full of that stuff. Yeah. yeah but even, even as explosive as the game is, I feel like it is more fair uh, for Seven as far as, like, comebacks go. Because if you block it out and you're, you're in a tight situation and you keep your nerve and you get the heat engager off, yep. maybe you get that huge burst of health back. And that's a huge chance that you wouldn't have gotten in another game. And it's been an interesting thing, because that's not something Tekken players have really ever had to kind of stress over too much. Mm -hmm. um, but it's another wrinkle that's kind of gone into uh, that whole uh, meta. Yeah, if you're a jab away from the death, you're a jab away from death until the end. Yep. Early on, yeah, Shinobi Kun, uh rocking this Raven. Been playing real solid. Uh, even going back to TNS, put in some work. Oh, over good and block. Over but hands on sight, though. Kind of a sidewall situation. Ooh, Unfortunate. Just let her rip with the yeah. flicker jabs. Okay. Shinobi, Shinobi couldn't had mercy on him oh. and allowed him just to finish his whole combo. There is no mercy in this <laughs> dojo. Mm. Good side side. Yeah. Ooh. Got a counter. Oh, but we're answering. Call and response. Hands on sight. I got those two, says Shinobi Kun. Yeah, hands. Hands doing his best to get out from the wall, but he took a lot of damage in the process. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened there towards the end. Hands on sight, uh, hands on sight rocking that ollie shuffle, and uh, just got clipped. Rocking the down 2-1 now. Ooh, yeah. Big counter hit. Strike down. Threatening with the Lionheart a little bit. Yeah. We're slowing things down a little bit. Just a little bit behind in life, uh, but uh, Shinobi Kun, I like it. Trying to dictate the pace here. He's setting a whole lot of traps for Hands on Sight to try to aggress on him. But I don't know if he knows, but Hands on Sight is extremely patient and is not going to fall for, you know, sort of like counter hit or um, crushing moves to stop people from coming in. Shinobi Kun changed up his strategy and just yeah. went straight on in there. Yep. You know, sometimes that aggression works a little more in your favor. And yeah. uh, Hands on Sight might need to be Ooh. looking for some of that right now. Ooh, look at this. He still got heat. A lot of gray on his side. Oh, but didn't break Good the throw. suplex. One plus two break. And has a corner now, too. Hands on sight. Oh, that was dangerous. Oh, wow. Just had enough of the heat gauge left to be able to get the burst going. And Shinobi Kun up first here in the set. Jutsu has evolved to a new level. No. Hands on phase. Yeah, just kind of chilling. Take it easy. Listening in a little bit, maybe. Now, I was on Mike for um, some of his matches um, in pools yesterday uh -huh. and was absolutely dominant when he was on, on screen. So, uh, I imagine you know, it, it, he could adjust pretty well just based off of like what I was seeing yesterday. Yeah. If he can do that here, we could be seeing a 1-1. Oh! The air-to-air. -air. Oh, but getting your legs clipped. Oh, you know, take the low ain't the take the throw that people say it should be. I feel like that was a bit of a um, bit of a reaction check by Shinobi Kun with those uh, those four fours. Yeah, but uh, nice. Oh, getting thrown back in the wall. That's two command throws. One plus two breaks that uh, have just been on point for hands on side. I wonder if uh, that kind of encourages a little bit more of the flow game. Not even going to get a chance here. Just, just so many things are hitting for Shinobi Kun. He's going stance, stance oh. into CD, into stance into CD, into back turn. That's all of it's hitting. Except for that, it's whiff. And then even when it is hitting, you got that uh, Shadow Clone Jutsu going on, yep. baby. Believe it. Probably going to use his heat on this. Oof. No? Not quite. Just wanted the better, wanted the pancake flip, wanted the Oki. Oh, Lionheart, oh, but carried out. Oh, and that was risky. Back turn right into a Sonic Fang. All right, hands on sight. Denying no round brown, keeping himself alive here. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. 
that that high faint into the mid, you only see that's only ever going to be good versus a good player. God. That's solid. That's some solid work right now. All right. But we do finally have a response. Oh, and the back sway. I wasn't seeing that. Oh. Yep, good stance from Shinobi Kun. Saw that Lionheart stance. Uh, I absolutely would have been guessing Guard Crush here. Gang Gang activity. One touch. Oh, minus oh, 12. Hey. Hands on sight. Having oh, to do his best Rocky Balboa impression. If he gets this wall. Oh, not quite. He doesn't. We have oh. to play a little bit more. Oh, oh my no. god, the biggest oh. wall I've ever seen. The stomp from downtown. And it just wasn't enough. At the end of the day, Steve throwing feet, and it just wasn't quite enough to do the trick. So that's going to put uh, hands on sight out of the tournament. Shinobi Kun moving on. But, um, you know, you got yourself a top eight in Atlanta for the first ever max mode. You know, you can, the first ever max mode. You, you tip your captain. Very. Also, uh, shout out to Data FGC. Follow them yes, on sir. Twitter, follow them on YouTube, uh, Twitch, plus two on block as well. Um, let them know on Twitter how you feel about the event, about how you feel about the stream, how uh, all the games ran, and everything like that. And, you know, shout out to Marco doing a lot of uh, work uh, locally here in Georgia and a lot of other events as well. Absolutely. That's a good crew right there. I know I've worked with them like on a number of other events. So to see them be able to have something a little bit closer to home like this, yeah. to have the vibes that we've had all weekend. Yeah. Like, yeah. You'll so love yeah. to see it. So if you guys aren't here, just know that there have been casuals throughout the entire weekend. Yes, sir. Even while pools are going on, there's still casuals running. Even uh, during the night when, the, you know, uh, throughout the night, there's still the arcade room that has uh, so many old games, has DDR on free play, and, you know, you can bring your own setups in there. So there's just been games going all weekend. I saw a virtual on setup. Yeah. The, the twin sticks yeah, and everything. The virtual on setup. I can't tell you the last time I saw something like that. That's Every, wild. You man. know, if you know Patrick, you've seen Ooh. a virtual on setup plenty of times. Bring some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Let me see like that Steel Battalion stuff. Let's get like the, the 100 pound, $300 controller out and just run 1v1s off of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ah, yeah. oh, that'd be sick as hell. Oh, but it's looking like we're getting plugged in here. Uh, I do see Subway uh, kind of from my from my uh, viewing angle. Yeah, here. it's Subway and Kith Mercer. And Kith, yep. So, um, Kith ATL. Yeah. Got some uh, more action on deck. Uh, Subway been rocking that Leo for uh, most of the weekend. Yeah. Uh, you know, did work in the team battle, got in, did that work uh, in the proper bracket, and uh, gonna try to continue to let it rock. I am, I am curious to know, let's see if we do uh, end up getting a link at some point. Again, uh, you know what? I, I am curious to see if we do end up getting a link at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah. The vibe. Yeah. T eight OST has been pleasant surprise. Yeah, it's so. a, it's a, it's got banger after banger in there, and of course we still got um, um, jukebox mode. So you yeah. can put, you can remix it however you want to. May uh, have to find some way to work some of that in for karaoke, but uh, couldn't tell you if I knew the words or not. <laughs> karaoke with everyone just going oh 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 oh. oh. That's the best part of it, man. <laughs> That's the best part. You sitting out there in the crowd, you kind of have that going. You can't help yourself. Uh-huh. Ah. I I hear the crowd doing the OOs. I mean, that's that's who it's for. That I wanna I wanna go to Evo just to hear Sunday finals night. Everyone oh 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 oh. I mean, for real, for real. Y'all sitting watching at home. That might appreciate be. you, but still, you're missing out on that part. That might be the only crowd action to top the cell scream. Oh my god. And that's a hard thing to do. That's a hard thing to do. But yeah, here we go. We are about to get things underway. More top eight action. Subway wing. Kith ATL. Another law on deck. Uh, Subway gonna see if he can fight the law and not let the law win. Gonna pick up at the wall, standing buttons. Subway keeping this huge range, just like range four or five. Yeah, uh, just 
trying to keep out of harm's way for some of like those kind of longer options that Law might have. Oh, there's our first slide, but you know, might have missed the base on the way through. And now, even though Subway's the one trying to keep his distance, he's still got to make something happen. He's still got he. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Little demo man action. All right, 10 seconds. You got to move. Oh, yeah, and just right into a heat smash. Do you know how fast the uh, lost heat smash is? Oh, God. Uh, I, know I've, I know I've kept that guy in the back pocket for a while. But uh -huh. I've got to look at it. I've got to look at it again. It always feels like it comes out of nowhere. My brain don't work that way anymore. <laughs> okay. Big fly. Okay. okay. On the ground. Yeah. Big counter hit. Ooh. We're fighting our way right back to mid stage. Might get the, the other side of the stage. wall. Coast to coast. Ooh, gamble with the somersaults. You know, I respect it. But uh, that movement from uh, Wang was just too dang clean for it. Ooh, out of reach out of mid. Subway has been able to kind of get a better lockdown on the neutral here. It's been kind of finding his range, has been denying Kith his, his reach. Ooh, good stuff. Plus frames on the hammer of the gods, not really doing much work. Yeah, not a, not a whole lot of different mix-ups going done. But a with generic the throw? Hold up. Let's go. We got those. Oh, nice. Perfect spacing by uh, my kid. Yep. And he we might got be that dead adjustment. with the yeah. break. Could be. Could be. He's got heat. Yep. Let her rip. Dragon cannon. Double up. Oh, and yeah. Another generic low. That's two rounds I was taken. Generic low, best low. Oh, but nice counter hit and the bulldog. Yes. He's a little bit. Oh, he adjusted during the the back turn. That was solid. I like that, baby. I wish there was a way to training mode at any of the uh, at like this part of the stage. All right. You know, get you get your purgatory on. All right. A lot of pokes whipping, but not a lot of damage being taken yet, though. Subway. A little bit more of an active defense, if you will. Oh, but nice. Catch the throw out. 20 se 25 seconds. This is definitely doable. Oh, but not getting caught. Time running short. Life running short. Oh, and doubles up on the banana peels. All right. He waited it out, though. He he took his time yeah. seeing where, uh, where Subway's going to move. No, that, that was some solid work. Got that life lead early. Parked the bus. Kind of forced Subway's hand there, and that's um, a real good way to close out a game like that. Yeah, yeah, it's a real good way to close out the game and also cut down a lot of, on any of the randomness. Like, you don't want to just, like, play on the beat all the time mm -hmm. because then your opponent knows that, okay, well, I can guess duck. I can get guess low here yeah. at, at this moment, but if you're, you know, doing it any time you want to, it's way harder to guess where and when. Absolutely. The fewer opportunities you give away, the fewer you have to do. Yep. And again, up early here in the round. And you do see just that back pedal right now from Kid. Yeah. Okay. All of a sudden, flip the script. Oh! Oh, I like that. It was a call out for a slide, but it still worked there. All right, Subway. Using his burst to just keep Kid away with his time ticking down. And he has a health lead. Oh, there we go. Punish nice. on the somersault. Yeah, there we go. Round two. All right, we're on the board now. That meant to be a slide. Yep. Oh, hammer whiff, but yeah, laid on the punish. I would have thought I was drawing block too. Oh, yeah, little down forward one. Check's getting in the way of stance. Trying to avoid any nonsense from it. And, and look at Tekken 8. Look at all this, these pokes, right. meaningful pokes. Right? I've always said Tekken 8 is supposed to be about ruthless aggression, but, uh, you know, we may have to be rethinking a couple of things here. It's saying Tekken 8 is about aggression is another way of saying it's about you have to make a decision. Yes. Right? It ain't buttons. It's thinking aggressively. It's defending aggressively. Yeah. Wayne, 
in a little bit of trouble here, just getting clipped here. Tag. Oh, man. Now, all that action parallel to the wall, and Subway was oh, able good. to make some stuff work for him. That's a nice back dash by Subway, yeah. keeping this uh, range. Second. Oh, and did the whole thing. Let's go. The counter hit me and the fusion dance. Yeah, he got sucked into that one. Yep. You expect somebody to play it solid, play it small, and it's that one time that, you know, they just let it rip that you get mm -hmm. tagged by. 1-1 one, one here. What a duck. Ooh. Yeah, okay, we're going right, to go right back to character select. Probably take that time to think. Oh, no. We're going to take our time to not think. Yeah, we, we already decided. We already decided when I was when he was getting hit by the last combo. We already decided as soon as we decided to duck, we, you know, we're getting out of here. That's enough law. Nah, nah. So, uh, Kari, how do you like your coffee, man? I, uh, man, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the only caffeine I have is in my pre-workout, actually. <laughs> well, you're about to get hit with that double shot right now, baby. Let's go. I swear I'm not biased about this character. Oh, run three, two at the gate. Okay. Got clipped uh, with the run three, but might have been looking for that side switch off. Somebody down early. Oh, yep. got a little bit of a light punish for it. Kith getting away with one. Still up early, though. And Kith doesn't really have to do a whole lot. Not at all. Just poking with the, and that's the, that's the minus four low, right? That he he's doing to go into back turn and then to, to scoop out. So with the back turn down back three, uh -huh. you get your plus three on hit, uh -huh. which sets up some options off of back turn. You know, okay. uh, back turn one plus two, for example. It's a counter hit mid, 13 okay. frames. They try to challenge you. Okay, so you're plus, you're plus three and you have a 13 frame counter hit launcher. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so, you know, they uh, try to get a little bit ambitious, they're gonna get got. Subway though, fighting right back here round two. I like this uh, extra aggression, but gets Ted, command throw. All right, even things up here life-wise. Oh, I love the throw! All right. Yeah, both going for those throws. Nice. Oh, and right in the heat smash. Yeah, just let it rip, might as well. Throwing back and forth, doesn't want to be at the wall. Oof. Nice, good clip. Ooh. Catching him stepping. Yeah. Oh, big trade. trade. Subway's favorite, that's absolutely GameStop or whatever they call it in Germany. Game is stuff food. GameStop house. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna pop it. Game and stop it. It ain't stopping right now. Oh, nice! Catch is out the low. That's going to be some big damage. Subway. We got that pip. Just need two more. There we go. And again, down forward once. Gets so much mileage. And that's not even just beyond this character. Whoa. A big low. Yeah. And a full combo for it. And he still can do the uh, tornado at the wall. That hurts. Okay. Still not going to block. Kids still oh, have no! Tagged with the up four, but it was an uh, airborne. Keep it momentum. Combo. Kid has to use his heat at some point. No. Yeah. At that stage, you kind of knew you kind of had to gamble on a little bit. Uh, just wasn't quite able to really just get the gun out of the holster. Last round, last uh, game. Ooh. Miss input, but hey, we're safe. Uh -uh. Nice. Okay. Oh, just about got one. Yeah, that could have been one of those combo video things where it's sidewall, sidewall, sidewall. Oh, right. The Taking block. the back to T4 days with that stuff now. Oh, no! Oh, big uppercut. Let that Wall thing break. rip. Let that thing rip. Still like no tornado, that's... but we still got it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, didn't get a wall splat. And a 1-1. One, Hit. One. Coming through. God. Heck of a set. Character swap. Giving Kit the win there. But uh, Subway was absolutely game for uh, clutching that out. Um, shout outs to both players there. That was some good, good action going on. Yeah. The, so that was a lot of back and forth on, oh, each, yeah. on each game. A um, lot of like meta gaming with the heat, a lot of like healing back and forth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, you know, until I was saying I got picked, and then it was. 
Then uh, <laughs> we kind of got three cans of Red Bull in. And, yeah, yeah. You know, things got serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I know I may be uh, the only person saying it. I'm sure it's a lot of y'all in the chat ain't going to agree. I see an Ozzy on my screen. I'm just happy. Oh, man, I'm getting stressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the uh, Bills paid right quick. And here we go. We are back to losers' quarters here. Yep. And uh, some interesting stuff that's going to come from this matchup. You, know, you got Poke. You got Shinobi Kun on deck. And uh, I'm curious oh. to see what we end up getting. Uh, Oh, I was, I was about to say, like, does he have, like, a pocket gin? But no, that's just where his uh, curses starts off at. But he does have a pocket link. Oh, my God. And we may end up breaking that out right now. Oh, let's go. Ling continues, remains, will forever be Get ready for the, the most, one battle. of the most annoying characters to play against. Absolutely. You just have to accept that your character now uh, has three moves. And you just got to deal. Three moves that work and 97 moves that will get you killed. Yep. It's uh, the John Cena effect. You got your five moves of death. But, yeah, this character I was a little bit more familiar with for Shinobi Kun at first when I first met him. Uh, but uh, as he's shown in the past, like, that Raven could cook. So I got to imagine this is more of a matchup specific kind of thing for him. Um, also, another thing about this stage, I think it's really cool that the floor has health. Like oh, the yeah. first floor breaking thing that you do isn't going to break the floor, but the next thing. Will. And you just get that representation. They throw uh, the uh, great Kool Aid in the water for you. It's good. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe that's more of a drag. Interesting group. combo. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. I don't know about that one. Side step back turn four. Hold up. This one looking a little bit more uh, kind of textbook mm -hmm. at this point. Oh, out of hypnosis. Yeah, I'm getting tagged by that too. God dang, Shinobi Kun. Answering violence with violence. One round apiece. I know Top kicking himself with that one. Kind of gave Shinobi that uh, that initial momentum after the weird combo. Yeah, but I mean, that's the way it goes sometimes. You know, you get a lean on the screen, something that you used to see in work, sometimes it just ain't. Oh, nice. Go back with shot. Oh, yeah, we're gonna float out the uh, big low there and get up. Immediate floor break floor as break. well. Okay. He's still got his whole combo to do. Yeah. And we're getting a good chunk of damage for it, honestly. Even though it was just an uh, air float. Yeah. It adds up. Game of the rounds. That's why you don't ignore those situations. Mm. Fight. Big Ooh. counter hit. Let it rip. Oh, nice. Good break on the generic. All right, we are on point right now with those throw breaks. Let's go, Shinobi. All right. Smash. Immediately nice. use the heat smash. Yeah. Not worried about uh, the rest of the heat. Might as well let it rip. If you think that pressure's Ooh. worth it, then you let that stuff rip. Let's go. Final round here, game one. Loses quarters. Let's down for one. Keep him in check. Oh, finally got in the way. Now, does Shinobi Kun know how to get up here? Okay, he does. He does. Nice. Yeah. Good call on the tech trap there. That tech trap is deadly because if you're if you're not in heat, if you're not in heat, it puts you in heat, and if you are in heat, it's a full combo. Ah, pain. Because the the back four three into heat rush pops them up. God dang! You love to see it, unless you're the one that's getting clipped. By it. Yeah. But uh, speaking of uh, pain, seeing that spring kick. Uh, I've already been on the record a hundred times about how I feel about spring kicks, but uh, poke chop jabbing, jabbing it out, taking the game. Mm -hmm. Round one. Uh, he's gonna hope for his sake. There's more where that came from. Oh no, punish! Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, got away oh, with one. Are they doing something? Oh, they're trying to stay, change stages. Oh, I see. Okay, just letting her rip. Okay. So I was curious, I was about to say before things got kicked off, I was curious to see if we were going to at least see some thought being put in the character change or, you know, if we were going to let it ride. I would really like if if TWT is going to make uh, rules about um, stage changes and things like that, that then 
the game should implement those rules in tournament mode. Right. Because it's a situation where, as it is, having to go back out to the menu every time, having to redo that random pick, mm -hmm. that's a lot of time added. You know, mm -hmm. it, I guess even from kind of, Get ready for you know, it's the maybe more of a niche thing, but on a stream side of things, yeah, the, the more time that you can save, the better. Mm -hmm. And uh, that does kind of get in the way of it a little and bit. And on the player side, it's like, because there's a whole lot of thought processes that are interrupted where they just have to like go through the mo motions of just like, you know, killing for the, to, to get out of the game. Yep. Or no duck on that third part of the string. Good spacing by Chop at the wall. Ooh, but nice check on the low there. Fire that was risky the too. Having the heat smash on deck and still believing in that duck. That's confidence. Oh, good duck. Woof. Oh, but we're getting clipped though. So might get a wall here. Could get a kill. Ooh. Could get a kill. What? We'll uh, see. That, that's that's a longer combo. Scalin might bail out Shinobi here. Yeah, I think he's alive, but he's like a jab away. Ooh. Oh, he's a, he's two jabs away. All right, here we go. What's the response? Oh, no. Delay the uh, extension on that, but that mid from Poke. Sometimes you just got to stick that toe out. Oh, nice. Knee bar. That back four is so good for dragging off. Oh. So. All right. Oh, we got a float. What, try to back sway. He's at the wall. No more, no more back sway. Yeah. Uh, unless he can just go through uh, walls. Is he ephemeral? I'm not sure. That would be sick. New patch? Ooh, right? Season 2 tech. Oh, Ooh. nice. Low parry. Caught out. Woo. That was heads up. Catching a mid approach like that? Yeah. And we're already on second game. There is no character change available for Shinobi Gun. Ooh. He has to stick it out. Yeah. And uh, we got all the glowy magma going on. So uh, you're living dangerously right now, oh. man. Oh, yep. You in there? Big combo. God. Almost saved the tailspin for the wall, and you know, Dragon Owls love that. Yeah, but still, that's a huge chunk that you got taken out. And speaking of, right back at you. You have burst. Right back at you once again. Yeah, yeah. Keeping his turn. No break again. Oh, no. There's a lot of throws in that set. Two one plus th two throws yeah. in that last round. And uh, kind of a shock. You know, that first game, we were seeing Shinobi Kun do a pretty good job of teching those. But um, Pope did a fantastic job of weaving that in. Mm -hmm. All those other options that uh, Shinobi Kun had to consider and uh, kind of might have slowed things down just enough to be able to get away with it. Yeah, um, I feel like when I don't know how often he plays Ling versus how often he plays Raven. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it is difficult when you're maybe on your secondary or something. You start to not duck strings that you know about, and you, you know you don't tech throws anymore and yeah. things like that. I mean, you have to put yourself into like almost like that different kind of mode mentally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, More of your RAM is used up by your character. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And I've I played two brain dead characters in seven. I was still having to do that. <laughs> yeah, like it's wild. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got Golden Seth coming back up to the stage. Okay, for, with. Kith like Mercer, Kith, yeah, 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 Kith ATL. I don't know, I don't know if he wants to be called Kith Mercer anymore. You know, uh, so maybe sometimes we got the list of the nicknames. Yeah, yeah. You know, you get yourself, you get yourself two. You can kind of make that work. You start getting three or more, then uh, you All start having to give the checklist <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, have the whole kind of pro wrestling intro for you're, it. You're you're always allowed to just change your name to. Your whatever your gamer tag was, and then just like you know, your scene. Yep. Kith ATL. Kith ATL. Kith Mercer ATL. Kith ATL Mercer. Kith, the man that puts two uh, spoons of sugar in his coffee. <laughs> you know, you, you can play around with it a little bit. It's got so layers. If we're on, if we got Golden Seth up, Seth up here, that is who's of A. Yeah, yeah. So this is losers. This is the last losers quarters match to see who will join Chop in Loser's Final, or Loser's Semi-Final. Yeah, this is already looking kind of like it has all weekend, if being honest. Stuff has been loaded. Mm -hmm. uh, basically from pools all the way through to now, you just see names on that list, and it's like, god dang. We're going to have a time with <laughs> Victor. Oh, but a Victor? 
Hold up. I almost cut. I could kind of understand Kith going Azu here because you know, ride the hot hand. But the victor picked them. Ooh. Ooh. We could get saucy here. All right. I am curious to see how this goes down. Round one. It's gonna be some real weird kind of caveats without Ooh. smash plays, but immediately off the demo mat. Yeah, going immediately. Force. Yeah, you're right. Immediately all in that the the hell sleep into just two running two threes or three twos. We don't need no feeling out process. We ain't we not keeping us small. Nah, we're out of blood. But Tekken 8 is forgivable. Look at how much health he came Woo! back with. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Caught with the uh, heat uh caught with the heat burst and God, made up some ground in a hurry. And he got to be at that much health while still having the rage damage boost. It's ridiculous. Nice. Down forward one. Oh, and I love some of the work weaving in things. Nice Generic counter. Low. Back to Seth, though. Weather in that storm. Oh, might have overextended. Oh, Aaron throw, no break. Oh, we're watching the ankles. What do you do here? Nah, there we go. And with that generic throw, a lot of times people are looking for the break. They they want you to break it because, you know, please just break it so I can get off this wall. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, might, it definitely works out in kids' favor there. You know, you got your, your side swap, but you got your damage, positive situation on the knockdown, and then everything got going from there. Another defensive throw at the wall. We've seen it all top eight. Please make note of this because it took – I, it, it took a really long, it was a really long time before I heard someone vocalize the fact that, hey, in Tekken, if you're against the wall and you throw them, then it's really good uh, if it's text or not. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Azu's options are pretty good for that. You've got your one plus three if you want to keep a wall. You've got your two plus four, uh, or even like the command grab if you want to side swing. Oh, good block. Woo, right into run three. All right, here we go. Oh, went mid on the option. Golden Seth was scouting Doc on the uh, one enter. More pressure. He is sidestepping out of that wall wow. like ease. That was some beautiful walk. Walk it out, talk it out, baby. Oh, nice. Downstairs. But the whiff on the back. Back there in combo. Ooh, right, Kith, watch out. Yeah, Kith you know, might have got away from with one, but he's still in trouble here until this goes down. Could get a kill. He's going to be kicking himself for not using the, his heat Ooh. options when he had the momentum. Yeah, I think Kith might have been styling out just a little bit there. Uh, but uh, regardless, got the job done. We are final round here. And once again, that, back, that down back three put back turn right into the generic one. Not even giving Seth a, a chance to kind of guess on some of those options. Okay, nice. good check. But a command, but a command throw again, getting out in front. Yeah, I feel like he's so far ahead in this round. There we go. Seth finally back to these. Yeah. What's the response? Goes downstairs now and oh, got the one in. Snuck it in. Might have been going for a little bit of a slow option in response to the down back. Four. But uh, he's taking his time to think, too. Yeah. A lot of times you see players after the game is over, they're mashing A and start at the same time. Yep. Yeah, that, that's when you know either they've got it figured out or they are just frazzled. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So Thank we're going. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Yep. We're going summer attire now. Oh, okay. man. I like the ATL get up where she's in the golden jacket. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Like, the gold, you got the silver default. Like, that's your proper fashion Tekken right there. Oh, we're going Zafina now. Okay. You know, and I respect that. Um, a lot of Ozzy's better options, better buttons, they are highs. Not to mention, if you've got a way to kind of get underneath that run 3-2, yeah. it takes a, one of those more kind of lockdown kind of options out of her kit. So, yeah, uh, for sure. You know, it, it's worth testing the waters with. Yeah, this this bikini is kind of crazy. Let's start. It's uh, T7 vibes. Yeah, I'll be real. <laughs> it's T7 custom, like a, your your custom outfit vibes. Yep. Uh, thank God there's no shower heads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All 
So they were gonna put on Ooh. somebody's preset though. Yeah. Wait for Akuma. They at least need to give her like a nice like sun. I'm just saying. Okay, prayer hands. Seth out early right now. I hadn't really had to do anything too crazy. It's just been a layer of pressure. Big buttons, mids. Oh, we Ooh. let it rip. Yep. Uh, this is uh, gonna do a heck of a, jo a good job equalizing things, but you do still have your guess at the end. What do we get? Both did. Ooh, downstairs. They both did. No. Activated. The high find in effect. Kid got the better of it. Fight. Oh wow! Just let that rip the launch on the wall standing. You know, it could, it could be a gamble, but you've got a lot out of it. Yeah, Lowe's over and over again at this wall. Golden Seth trying to fight his way out. Kith not taking any chances, just giving him the space and deciding that, hey, I'm just going to outfit to you until the end of the round. Yeah, you know, kind of banking on those pokes, those whiff punishes, but uh, might have given a little bit too much room Ooh. to Seth there. Yeah. yeah. That That's what is meant by the game is about aggression. You. As soon as you give somebody an inch, they might take a mile. Oh, you already know. They might hit you with a heat engager. They might heal up by 50 health. An entire combo worth. Wow, beautiful punish on that. Got the duck right into wall standing too, and doubles up on it. Yeah, this man had like that whole quad espresso. Oh on the my way god. In. Oh, he's still alive though. Oh, that means the game is still close. Yes. Oh. That life lead was a little too aggressive, though. All right, final round here. Kid might be able to get to 2-0. Said, I imagine fighting for his life to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, there we go. Quick little punish on the low. Oh, and again, these full crouch lows adding up. Oh, he didn't mean to do no. that. He didn't mean to do it. He didn't mean it. No. Let him live. I wonder if that was going to be that forward one plus two. Mm. You know, that, that armor kind of just high heat engagement. Um, usually, for the most part, I only uh, let Steve players get away with it. Because, you know, they're trying to do like Sonic Fang or something, and they accidentally did their super. Or then again, though, we might have just been getting crazy. True. Get that dirty chai latte going, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chai, by the way. He's another Azatana player. Hey. All right, nice. Getting away with some of this pressure out of stance. Oh, Scarecrow 4, but the jab recovering. T8 armor rules working a little bit in Kid's favor. And set. Uh, two, one. And just all the jabs right now. I finally got the ender out. Yeah, he's just Oh, it. no, got underneath. Keeping it very small, Tekken, wasting out, waiting out the, the heat timer for Golden Seth, looking for his opportunity to strike. I'm, I'm not sure why Golden Seth sort of froze up, wasn't, wasn't using as much movement as he was uh, throughout the rest of the set. And I wonder if it was just that change of pace that did. Because we saw early in that game, Kith was going ham. He was throwing while standing launchers. He was throwing some risky stuff out. And then right there at the end, just to shift right back down to first. Keep it compact. I know, like, if I've already seen that look at the beginning, I'm absolutely expecting something crazy. Uh, but, uh, you know, that change of pace, getting the job done. Kids staying alive. And uh, Ozzy C Nation, I'm sure, is going to be pretty happy about that. We've got King Ray Jr. versus JJ, JJ coming up. Let's go. Now, they, I know they've had... Uh, more than a couple of matches against each other here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, since uh, T8 on release. Yeah, on um, online tournaments yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, you know. Online and tournaments. I'm trying to remember um, offline if it was, it might have been TNS, they might have locked horns at some yeah. point. Yeah, uh, it would have had to be, I think, because there hasn't been a whole lot of offline since, um, since T8 came out, right? Yeah, yeah. Frosty's was your first. And that uh -huh. was like day zero kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Doesn't count. No. Nah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Unless unless you beat somebody who's uh, better than you, then it counts. Yeah. Let them know the entire rest of the li game's of life cycle. That sounds like the exact opposite of 0-2, but it was close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah hey, who won the first set, though? <laughs>
You just get yeah. to carry that for the rest of your life. Yep. It's it's that whole I knew this person before they were famous kind of yeah. you know, flex. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got the law flexing. We're gonna run into this Oscar here. Winner's finals. So it is first to three. Uh, yeah. There's gonna be some action. Especially when we stick to the stage. Big step. Well, yeah. Oh no! Let it rip. One inch punch. All right. A nice break. All right. Yeah, I like that call. Keeping the pressure. Keeping the corner with that uh, with that heat burst. Yeah, that's one of my favorite uses of the heat burst. Just like go for a little mini mix up and then just oh. do it. That trade though. Oh, big steppy. Yeah. Tried to gamble with the downtown heat smash, uh, but uh, JJ had none of it. Oh, this is gonna do some work. And the combo readjusted itself. He went front turn again. God dang. Oh, that's ridiculous. We still have the floor break ready. Oof. I'll look. Oh, let it rip. Yeah, there we go. Rage art. And he holds it. Nice. All right. A lot of work to do after this. But uh, you do have some opportunities. Yeah, a lot of work to do, but we still got heat. Yeah. And that's, oh my god. Ooh, okay, let it rip early. I think JJ was sitting on a block hole. Yeah, oh! it doesn't look like a lot of work now, huh? Bullcat? <laughs> you're right, you're right. Yeah, maybe he just I mean, that. He, he hit some very crucial hits that he needed to. So it, it's not like it was easy. It was not easy. Nah. He just made it look like light work. Yeah. Okay. Like four. Oh, but can cans getting in the way of things? All right, Ray gonna take a lead early here. Oh, almost got a wall too. There we go. Okay, we at least got a knockdown off of that. Minus 15. You're able to catch it out. You can launch. Ooh, that could be it. Ooh, got 10. Yeah, there we go. Two rounds in the pack for King Ray. We're now? still on the top Whoa. level of the stage, too. Not for yeah, long. Yeah, okay. Hey, you spoke that into existence, sir. He knew it. He knew it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah, it's not going to do that much damage. Yeah. I'm surprised that didn't feel great. Right. It was, it was a, oh, yeah. I, I thought that this, I thought that this floor has one health. Yeah, single And not hit. two like the other. That was funky. Oh, yeah. I was absolutely thinking another button on that. 442 string. The combo just dropped. Oh, again? Oh, counter yeah, the, hit. The can can is actually so powerful because it's going to beat people trying to do the heat burst. Yep. Heat burst, power crushes. It, it just destroys armor like it's nobody's business. Oh. And Doug uh, got the round for it. That was sick. Kept it, kept it patient, found that spot, got in front of the armor. That armor. Not as airtight as it used to be in T7, and uh, you know, some some of those cases might have worked a game ago. Maybe not so much now. Battle. Yeah, it's like uh, six frames uh, for the armor to start up, right? Your minus six. So armor just one. yeah, just a little bit of that delay. Mm -hmm. So much of a difference. She got a bicycle. Fight. Ooh. Oh yeah, there we go. Good punch. Oh. She just to not she just to save her heat, right? Yeah. Cause normally after you do the uh, her running one, then you can choose to do the uh, the heat engager string or you can not or you can save it. That's right. Okay. There we go. Gotta let it rip now. Alright. Oh! Oh right into a heat smash? Oh that is sick. I had no clue she could do that. I'm stealing this. Again. Why are Oscar players down downplaying this character? Who was telling hey. everybody that this character is bad? They're led nah. by somebody. Maybe they, they just have an agenda. They're actually just thinking of the long game. There we go. I'm wise to y'all's game. Who do you think you're fool? Oh, oh. wow. Much up. Yeah, we got bigger hands. The last bit of heat on that re rush. Yeah. The readjustment. Oh, trying no. to get the wall. Unfortunate. Yeah, trying to pick up oh. on that tornado. Just a little bit off. And look at how much health JJ is healing for. Ooh, yeah. And it's going to add up even more back turn Ooh, throw. The chop. Didn't quite kill. Woo. I wonder if that was guaranteed. The jump touch is kind of crazy. Yeah. Um. I mean, 12 frame throw. Entirely possible. 
Nice, got a clip. Oof, 4-4-3. Nothing doing, nothing doing. All right, got a little low high action. All right. Out of heat. Asuka has such good um, good neutral options. Ooh, good tracking away. neutral options, the 4-4-4, and the um, the swipe that she has also, the high swipe with the, with the spark. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's oh. kind of that balance. The, the more linear options, but with some great kind of homing options on the other side. You know, it's just having to guess right. <laughs> the slide Ooh. threat. Yeah, I was fighting. the slide for three seconds straight. I was absolutely, oh, nice. Doubled up on the uh, Sabaki attempt. Uh, but JJ just hanging back, calling it out. And uh, he may be in his head right now. I'm not just trying to reference a Cranberry song either. Woo! Step back three. Trying to just uh, run some time out on this heat gauge. Oh, a nice! Good call out. Saw the ender on the one string. And Ray may be able to get a whole round out of that. Let's go. That parry starts up way faster than I thought it does. God, it's wild. I man. never thought about it, people using it in the middle of strings. Yeah. Well, uh, that, that one ender on the one string, you know, it does get to be a little bit on the slow side. Okay. So if you got it scouted, you can absolutely let that rip. Oh, slides. Slides. Yeah, and this is, this is, uh, it's not set point. It's first of three, because you are in winner, winner's final. Oh, he got oh, hit by it! Oh, no! King Ray has been doing the mid. It's a bit slow. It's a little slow. Oh, oh my no! God. Had the right call outs. Mm -hmm. Back handspring. Oh, Saw the whiff and just maybe a little bit over eager on the punish. The heat smashes continue Woo. and remain to be dangerous even on whiff. I saw some talk on Twitter the other day talking about how, you know, Yoshi, for example, has a heat smash that does work a little different on that whip. Uh -huh. But for so many other characters, they just keep rocking it. Yeah, they just do their whole, they just do their meat, their, their thing. And uh, that was uh, definitely catching Ray unaware there. Dragonoff runs across the entire stage and hits you while he, you're, you're to his back. He just goes burn, no yeah. breaks. Down back threes, more down back threes. All right. Okay, finally got things slowed down just a bit, but that's a lot of damage off of those ankles. JJ Breeze trying to even it up. Okay. Nice run up tab, just trying to check and see. Oh, we doubled up on him again. Is this second the second time they both did it together, or is that someone else before? Uh, it, I think it's been a set. previous set, but, yeah, it, yeah. but the uh, Tekken 8 hive mind. Yeah. Still alive and well, clearly. Fight. Woo! Double burst. Let her rip. Engage her early on here. Oh, no, but the slide getting under the high. She got a big old hammer. Still got that spark, too? Yep. Spark! Oh, Ooh. nice! Spun around to his back. Oof. He still got heat, so Oof. he can still make it. Absolutely. He can still make something happen. Guaranteed off the slides, plus frames. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Oh, One no! Oof! And a forward two, catching, yep. Got the knockdown, got to confirm. One round away from getting up here. King Ray. Nice whip punish. Oh, that up forward two just about found a mark. JJ playing really defensively on this lead. Playing it smart. Oh, nice. There we go. We got her duck. Getting her working right now. Uh uh. All right. What's the guess on the end here? Oh, no! Pops the heat engager. Gonna get a game here. Let's go. Yeah. King That's Ray. Three straight for King Ray. I will say though, um, those heat, um, those heat metas, the characters that have a heat that just gives them their own buff for like three times to use, it's not as strong as like a character like Nina who can chip you out for 50%, yep. or um, or Dragonoff who has unblockable or unbreakable tackles and launchers that aren't supposed to be launchers. Um, but uh, 
you know, I guess to kind of add that wrinkle in, you know. Having to deal with that guessing game three times, mm -hmm. you know, multiple times, yeah. as opposed to just the one, you know, Round is that one. something that does get to you, I guess, mentally? But that is to say, to speak for the Oscar players, that is what they're talking about when they say that, like, Oscar feels like she's playing Tekken 7.5 instead of 8. Okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm picking, it up, picking up what you put down. Oh, all the jabs, catching the float out. Might have been, might have been a hop kick there. I'm not sure. Little can kicks. I think it was a forward one plus two. Yeah. Well, uh, whatever it was did not come out. JJ, throws on the board here. Ooh. All right, I'm just gonna armor through it. Tank it. We're all mortal in the face of that that one low where she punches the ground. God, you already know. Oh, and re realign for the rest of the string. Hold on. Ray. And remember, he's on set game right now. Absolutely. Just two more rounds, and he's in grand finals winner's side. You, know, you blink, this may be over. Mm -hmm. Nice block. Nice. Okay, good guess. You do have to guess between the mid and the low on that. Ooh. There we go. Guarantee. JJ fighting from behind right now, but I mean, this is a drag we have on screen. That is big damage, that is big pressure. And we've got a breakable floor beneath us. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. let her rip! Okay, nice. Little jab on the plus frames. But uh, Ray, finding a good time to be disrespectful. All right. I didn't Ten know where he seconds. Back. That could have been it. That could have been the game. Okay. JJ Breeze running out of time. I don't know if this is we possible. Just something. five seconds left. Three. Oh, oh my go. God! Got the break. Rage Art, Rage Art before the. My, my oh, didn't have the time. time. <laughs> didn't have the time. The floor break. Sapping those last three seconds away, and you hate to see it. They fell for too long. Oh. That extra hang time. Bailing out King Ray Jr. God dang. He must have had one of those wingsuits or something yeah, in the yeah. back pocket. <laughs> Oof. Oh, oh no! Realign? Yep. That's how you do it? I mean, oh! Yeah. He might not live though. No. Yeah. That big hammer doing just enough. Arctic hammer, that's what that one's called. Yes, sir. Uh, the King Ray had the right call in the heat smash, sidestepped it, but just didn't get out in front. Got clipped by the second part. Oh, this is such a big final round right now. Oh, nice! Counter hit on the throw. What's the option? More lows, more pressure. All right, but we answer right back. This ain't done. Ooh, try to get cheek. I like it. Oh, let it rip. Can we take this? Here. He's there we go. Uh, JJ still alive? I think. Boom. Oh, but one touch though. All you need. All right. Keeping the aggression. Oh no! Double oh, double. Hold so up. So what's the Hold rule? Up. I think you can't win yeah. the set no. off of a, a trade. Yeah, so typically you get that double KO. If it's a, if it's the win a set, you run it right back. Uh, it, looks, it looks like they're going to yeah, talk yeah, yeah. it out just to make sure we've got the, the right call on that. Yeah, deck. break out the lawyers. Break but out the tournament lawyers. God dang. I, I, but I think the rule is you can't win a set off of a double KO. Right. You just roll it back. Same game count. Uh, but I got to say, though, we got our first like top eight for Tekken max mode, and we get a double KO on stream. Yeah. Oh, my God. We are blessed. We are on game five of a possible game six. Game six? <laughs> NBA Finals? Yeah. God dang. Do we really get to raise the question? What happened when King Ray dropped a 3-2 lead in the finals? Yeah, every, everybody, everybody's putting on their glasses, taking Ooh. out their books. God, we're having to actually read now? God dang it. Ooh. But I love it, man. I've been blessed all weekend. I got to see like a double modern Marissa mirror and Street Fighter pools. Um, modern Marissa? Yeah, two of them. Oh my God. In bracket, <laughs> same game. I, I, you know? Just some what? wild, wacky stuff going on this weekend, and I am here for it. So. Woo.
I mean, they're still sitting down waiting for the, the ruling. Yep. Uh, I think Battery might have been marking out over that just a little bit. Got Fox out in the I, back as well. Just uh, if he had a voice left to kind of throw, he would absolutely be throwing it. I wonder what they're what they're still talking about. Oh, they decided. Okay, oh. GGS. Oh, we, okay. Let it ride. Okay. If we're doing that, we at least got to give. Uh, oh, we at least got to give Breeze this game. Three, two. No. Ah. But uh, nah, that's a heck of a way to just. Uh, <laughs> Let it rip their winners' finals. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I wouldn't complain if we get to see one or two more of those, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, that is going to put King Ray Jr. in grand finals. And JJ going into losers' finals mm -hmm. to wait for the winner of Poke Chop versus. Yeah, versus Kith, Kith yeah. yeah. Uh, no easy outs, man. Never has been, but it does give. Uh, both uh, JJ and Ray a little bit of breathing room. Scholars are going to have to look back on that set and decide, you know, what was really supposed to happen. How many games were they really supposed to play? What could have been? You know, it's a hypothetical. You know, it's a Schrodinger's game. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, was the game in the box or not? Yeah. Was there another game in the set or not? We'll never know. We'll never know. The, see, if you play it, there is another game. If you don't play it, there isn't. Yeah. That's why it's a that's why it's a paradox. You know, I guess that is a factor. Also a factor, it is a Sunday. Yeah. People gotta get to work tomorrow. It's <laughs> true, true. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we're just trying to just uh, expedite things just that a little bit. Who knows? Yeah, after that after that KOF reset that made it made the game take an extra hour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all that daylight savings, yeah. just reverse that. Yeah, KOF. <laughs> Play one, game, K. <laughs> play one game of KOF. God, and that takes me back to, because I know, you know, we've been talking some final round stuff, kind mm -hmm. of, you know, reminiscing on some stuff from back when, and I still have it fresh in my mind. 2019 final round, uh -huh. Dragon Ball Fighters Exhibition, Goichi, Sonic Fox, first yeah. to ten. Yeah. Being there for that, and then just seeing everybody get super hyped, seeing it go on, you had this huge knockdown, drag out, like almost hour long conflict, and that was only game one. Yeah, because like the game had, the game was just now coming together. The clashing of what they what they developed in Japan, what we developed in uh, America, and it's like turns out actually I have this block string that you really have to just wait until I'm done. <laughs> yep. You know, fix yourself some coffee. You know, sit there, get settled in. We're still going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, you didn't pick Kid Boo or Vegeta? I guess you just have to wait here. <laughs> but, um, you know, maybe not all bad. That did give birth to, um, you know, Android 16 at least beating some of the grappler allegations. <laughs> you know, Cell Yell kind of in its uh, nascent stages. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you know, some, some good to come from that. But, God, if we weren't in there forever. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it does... Look like we are going to get some stuff set up for losers finals here. Once again, going back to tournament mode, uh, trying to avoid some weird nonsense uh, kind of hardware controller wise for Poke here. Uh, but uh, you back know, to main menu. As you should. Is does Chop have um, one of those mental things? You know, you, you just have to like lock the door three times, close it, <laughs> close the door, open the door, close the door three times, the lock phone. the door twice. The phone key wallet the check. Yeah, yeah, phone key wallet. Yeah. Yep. Tournament mode. Uh, check my buttons three times, and then we can then we can play a game, and then I can get in, and then we have to go back to main menu, and I check my buttons again. It would make some, for some really good mind games, man. I'm just saying. You get somebody kind of trying to get mentally prepared, focused, dialed in. It's like, oh, hold up. Uh, give me a sec. Yeah. Let's start. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. But, uh, you know, we ain't going to dawdle any longer. You already know what's coming up. Kith rocking the law in this case. Round and uh, dragging off from poke here. It's an ATL classic. Yep. Um, curious to, curious about if we do end up seeing the Azu in this set, but uh, only time's going to tell. The 
white pants on the law, though. That doesn't look that bad, man. Yeah, it's kind of blending in with the uh, with the ashy stage. Yeah. Oh, that little bit of that delay between down forward ones. That's what that's what I always tell new players, right? It's like it's not like Street Fighter. It's not like a 2D game where you just like take your exact frame advantage. Yeah. In Tekken, you really have to delay and mix time into your mix-up. For sure. Like, you can get so much mileage out of just changing the tempo, changing the rhythm. Timing, timing is a, a, a big part of your mix-up, and it, it really enhances a lot of your gameplay. Oh, for Round sure. Game. You get somebody looking for a button. Sometimes they're getting got for it, and getting got on the wall rising too. Get up early here. Oh, quick attempt to launch. Oh, and yeah, we're going full bull dog with that. I wonder what Chop Chop tried to do. Either the burst or or power crush, but it doesn't matter. Moving uh, on to round four. Those uh, golden letters looking real golden right there. Oh, nice. Caught the sidestep. And uh, gotta get your stage interactions, everything going kaboom. Shout out to Demo Man. Yeah, true. More low. Chopper wants this. Ooh. And that blender was on full blast for poke right there. God dang. More buttons. He's getting counter hit by the back four. Oh, oh let her rip no. the somersault. Oh. And because Kid's got all grounded hits, he doesn't have any great health, health to speak of. Yeah, that's, that's a good chunk, but it's going to need some good damage to really try and even things up here. Chop. Even though he's standing. Ooh, no! oh. Yeah, the slide is absolutely in Poke's head right now. Oh, but might have overextended there. Sidestep, three plus four. Huge Kith up against the wall. Chop doesn't want to overextend, doesn't want to let Kith do anything that's going to. Oh. oh, nice catch. Finger on the trigger, he said, I don't care what you do. If you do anything, I'm charging in. Yeah. I mean, And it wasn't even the running two. It was just immediately heat smash. Heat smash. I mean, why why gamble with anything Speaking else? Speaking of modern mode, heat smash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's definitely got those vibes. Yeah. It's like, For oh, sure. I could do a running two, or I could do this running two with one input. <laughs> Easy mode. I'm just waiting to see what dynamic uh, mode Tekken 8 looks like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, we do see the Azu swap from uh, Kith here. Uh, yeah, I don't blame him. This can get a little funky matchup wise, but uh, you know, Lip Stance does tend to play funny with some things. You do still gotta keep an eye out for those run twos, some of those really good hits that uh, Drag has, but uh, it can uh, play havoc with some of the other usual tools. Yeah. Uh, other, you know, shout out to Don as well. Um, other. I was just saying as he may have, been, may have been playing, so. Absolutely. All right, but a quick round for Poke here. I was about to say, Kith may have swapped the decaf at this point. Chop is keeping it like range zero, range one, not really letting a whole lot of space to go between them. Even when he gets hit, he's yeah. just fighting his way out. We're trying everything under the sun. You see that the punch parry attempted? Woo! Thought he had uh, something on the other end. Just Ooh. about did. All right, here we go. Crazy combo. Let her rip. Got some mileage out of it. Some, some space from the wall. Oh, oh literal nice. mileage, yeah. yeah. Counter down two. Oh, but the low parry right there. Oh, that is heads up. Oh, my oh, God. No. Dropped it. All right, but we got the round. Sometimes it ain't got to be pretty. It just got to get done. All right. Okay, I like the uh, aggression here. Top to get this wall for sure. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That just looks so good, man. All right. More hammers, but again on the low parry. I don't know if it's just reads or reactions, but kids got it. Oh no. Yeah, just resigned to guess on this duck, especially when he's at the wall. There was another Ooh. attempt at duck. Chop going back to his spacing, his timing. Yeah. Final game here, possibly, for Kid. 
Uh, nice break. That Ooh. was immediate break. Yeah, and an instant wall run of 3 2. An immediate low parry. Ooh. That was the top's first attempt of the round. You gotta be kidding me right now. This man's batting a thousand. Ridiculous. I wish I could do that. Oh, good duck. Nice. Oh, yeah, and gonna get the wall splits. Yeah, that one two just gets mileage at the wall. Oh, nice command throw. No break. Thankfully, uh, the volcano's already been popped, so that definitely helps out Kith. That could have been disaster otherwise. If we got a final round. Oh, good movement. And again, just staggering those down forward ones. Uh, Pokes been getting uh, some good work out of that this, this uh, set. All right, and now you're at the wall. Yep, good throw. Both of them fuzzy ducking in front of each other. Ooh. Just teasing things. Ooh. Just waiting on that one hide again under. And Chop still has his heat smash. He can do one, two, one. Oh, oh but gonna burn on the engager. No, I like it. Might have been able to get a little bit more. Got Kith away from the wall, but no, that's gonna do it. Got a knockdown, followed up. Chop immediately out of his chair as the game Ooh. ends. I mean, that was clutch. Yep. Stuff was getting serious there for a minute. And, um, you know, Pope going to pop off on the best of days. You know, kind of a little summer breeze, kind of taking a nap under, you know, like the tree at the park. He's going to pop off over there. So that's ATL in, you know, top three. Guaranteed top two, three, and four. You know, I shouldn't be shocked. <laughs> I can't be shocked. Uh, this might feel like a little bit of vengeance for that time they came down to Birmingham for Comic Con and uh, Team ATL ends up losing out to Team Bama. But uh, uh, that's a whole other story. I mean, King Ray still has an opportunity to keep ATL out of winning our own tournament. And he'll be the uh, first winner of Max Mode for Tekken 8. Yeah, you get the medal and everything. Nobody takes that away. You're the first. Maybe not the last. Not an announcement. Not an announcement. I've, I've been informed to say not an announcement. <laughs> we're announcing that. <laughs> we're, we're not announcing. <laughs> 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 All right, but here we go. Losers finals on deck for y'all. What has already been a fantastic evening for Tekken, man. Round one. Fight. JJ Breeze dra uh, dragging off from this poke chop. Let's get to it. Yeah, oh. That was a lot of smart blocking. Absolutely. It still presence of mind to call out the slide. Let's go. So Chop just maintaining that wall pressure over and over again. Just like he was doing with Kiss. Just like, you know, it's not the attacks that are all always the most important. It's sometimes just the movement positioning. Yep. And uh, sometimes just having a really god dang good one string. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that... I've seen Tekken Gods not able to deal with uh, back 4-2-1 and then 1-2-1. It, it is wild. The, the, yeah, the ranking system in this game is a bit weird. Anyway, Ooh. oh, big launch. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Oh, spring kick, go! Yep, yep. Poke let, his eyes out. Let me point to the sign once again. Spring kicks are bad for your health. <laughs> Don't do it once. Otherwise, you are risking your own life. I'll say that, and I'll do five. All right. Especially, especially if you're a king player. Oh. Please. Absolutely. You know that. Ooh. Just got around run two. Okay. Big low parry. Yeah. Getting him away from the wall. That could be. Honestly, that could be the game. That stuff like that Ooh. means a whole lot. Yeah, went for the tackle extender off the uh, run two, and JJ ready for it. Okay. Uh, it is a dangerous tool because that Ooh. is untackable. And went right into knee bar. We're in trouble right now. Okay, I like that. He's, uh, he uh, burst, but not enough to stem the tide. Poke up first. And uh, much like that we saw in loser semis. Poke just kind of just finding those opportunities to really just go loud, go hard, and uh, put that pressure on whoever's in front of them. 
bull in the china shop. Yeah. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm listening to the crowd. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta do it. It's not a, it's not a question of if you gotta do it. You just got it. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. All right, new stage. Feels like the uh, the Braves, uh, the Braves chant. Oh yeah. You gotta, oh. Ah, love it. We gotta get Ronnie Acuna to one of these things. Ooh. Oh, good back dash oh. there. He wasn't confident in that back four. Still fighting his way out. At one two. All right, a lot of folks. Oh, good step on the down four two. Ooh. Oh, but nice. Got clipped though. After him. Both still have heat. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Let it rip. Let it rip. Plus frames. Oh, nice. Cut frames. Can man throw? I just went it off the wall. I just went it off the wall, and you made me kill you. Yep. Yep. Good deal. Well, I mean, the match played out in his favor right there. That's for sure. That command throw um, beating out that little bit of that slower option in the uh, Hammer of the Gods. Ooh. Chop is blocking every single one of those slides. JJ Breeze is sneaking them in in times where it doesn't like look obvious or anything Ooh. like that. But Chop is just, he's just got that timing on it. Yeah, and timing up a lot of those side steps. Oh. You saw those down forward ones just flipping Breeze multiple times. Yeah, why not? Just yeah. use all your resources on that. Let it rip. And uh, Pope being an absolute bear right now. Losers finals. Double knockout. Woo! Yeah, it is. It's good thing you mentioned it is losers finals. This is not the set point. Why? But, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, got her wall break. More pressure. No. Nope. Well, All you right. use your heat burst and your heat smash. Oh, the, the, the Excuse Woo! me. Excuse me. The 10 hit. Yeah, you don't. You do not look at your opponent after you do something like that. Smoke Act him like if you, you didn't him, do it. Smoke him if you got him. Yeah, he, he, he's glancing over though. Look at his pupils. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know Tokido's got the copyright on the whole uh, murder face thing, but uh, that is something murder face adjacent is what it is. Mm, he's right. like, yeah, I, I know I did a ten hit. I'm not gonna look at you though. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's, he's in his zone, man. This is going to be a hard 2-0 to overcome. But um, I know J.J. Brees is absolutely up to the challenge. Ooh. There we go. Good steps. Got to confirm. Somersaults. And oh! I love those. Something. I love that smooth. God, we're just going to walk it out. That's some stanky leg action going on. 1-2-1 one, one, working for him again. Top of the timing. All right, there we go. More low highs. Oh no! Down two. Yeah. Just uh, pop the heat. Sat on it. Um, but does give Poke a chance to get in and at least take a turn. And uh, sometimes that's all it takes. Trooper roll for movement. We are seeing everything right now. Oh. Got the whole kit. I mean, you know. Could be a shades of just that player matchup going on right now. Ooh. The oh. junkyard auto fixing the combo even when it hits someone from behind, it's like that's huge. That's wild, yeah. yeah. As soon as Chop getting his turn. Oh Ooh. amazing. We were ready. We were ready. Fight. Round Ridiculous. Oh, it really is. Well no Zion got those reactions. Oh, but caught it! Went fishing with the down forward two and got a bite! Alright. Trying to get out the wall, but JJ having none of it. Alright. And that heat that heat dash. Yeah, he's got his he's got his own 10 hit. That's the first part first part of it. Oh, man. Let's go. Okay. A little bit of an advantage here for JJ Breeze. First time for the set. Let's see what he can get for it. Yeah, that, this is the first time he's up and round. Oh, here we go. Poison arrow. Here we go. Ooh. That might be it already. Ooh. Dragon Cannon taking the game. All right, new lease on life right now. Got to see if there's more where that came from. This law is starting to catch heat. Let's see if he can cook. All right. 
Get Brand to pick on the, the stage. Definitely a much smaller stage here. Yep. Keep in mind, we have been rocking old TWT rules for the tournament. So that stage pick is an option. Uh, you know, if it comes down to it. Are there any stages that you don't like playing on so far? Uh, oh, big launch. Sorry. We'll talk about it later. Oh, no, you're good. He still's got that tailspin. Ugh. You get that from center stage. God, that's wild. And the long part of the stage, too. Nice. Got the counter. Big mids. Oh, wow. Dang. That was an answer right back. If I've it, ever seen one. It felt like Chop barely played in that round, but he got the hits that mattered for sure. And like that Dragonov damage, it's like, you know, you don't need much. You can sit there, fill out C on every part of the test. <laughs> yeah. You're eventually going to land on a right answer. Dragonov definitely a SAT take here. Yes, sir. Woof. Oh, let it rip. Okay. And I do like... Oh, no! But got the headlock! Got grips! When it's coming to the end of the set, that's when you break it all out. High school bully, let's go! All right, catching more sidesteps. Smaller tech and these smaller pokes doing work for poke right now. Oh, counter! Oh, that, don't drop the toe! I was just gonna say that was gonna be it. Yeah, that was it. JJ, that new, was the run. New lease on life. Woo! Yeah, big flip. But not really throwing poke off. Oh, and the down forward one's gonna do it. Good patience by JJ recognizing that he had stepped the. Uh, the Dragonov heat smash, but it wasn't over. He still had to keep blocking. He just, you know. Yeah, a little too much to surmount there. Mm -hmm. At uh, the end of the day, once you have just that, that little sliver and your opponent has already baited out the heat from you, there's you know, not a whole lot you can really do. What's going oh, on no. here? Especially if Pokes like feeling himself like he is right now. Mm -hmm. He is in full effect right now. The man took the uh, volume knob and uh, decided to take it past 11 now. Yeah. No. He said, he said, reset incoming. Oh. We're gonna be here all day, get ready. The way he's Hope been moving. Hope you got moving. your snacks ready, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, snacks, popcorn, all that, mm -hmm. you already know. The way he's been moving these uh, past, what, 10, 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if we see that. Yeah, the little small movements and making sure his opponents cannot really move with the one, two, and uh, back four. He's also been using down four, three plus four, the new track, the tracking move, the tracking mid that Dragonov got towards the end of Tekken 7, um, as well as the soccer kick. Those kind of look similar when you, when you do them back to back. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like kind of like that guessing game. There were definitely a few characters that kind of had that whole kind of animation advantage. Mm -hmm. You know, you see this? Oh, this is the unsafe mid. Nah, that was the safe high. Yeah. You just gotta hold it now. Yeah. Or that that was the really good low that he got. Exactly. But uh, we'll have to see if that does have any impact here. Grand Finals, as we're getting underway here. You already know the song in advance. King Ray Jr. on the winner's side. He gets his three, he gets a tournament. Poke Top gets a three. Uh, we're back to clean slate. Yep. Woo. JJ not gonna get to play his extra games with King Ray in this grand final. Yeah, I don't think uh, Ray's gonna get uh, gonna get the respect to even try. Nice. Run two. Ooh. Oh, but that was we, a uh, big duck. Yeah, scouted, well thought out. All right, first blood, King Ray Jr. First round of the set in Grand Finals T8. If you're in the chat, press some buttons, man. I can see y'all. Hashtag make some noise. All that stuff. Nice. Catch it. Ooh. A little bit cheeky. I do like that adjustment, though. Poke staying down. Ray recognized it. Oh, counter. Ray does have to be careful here. One touch and that might be round. Oh, but knee bar, no break. Hey, yeah, what's the what's the metal on this throw? Uh, one break on that one. Oh, but a punch barrier. 
Here we go. He's he's dead too, right? The King Ray has uh has rage to work with too, yeah. Oh no oh, no but he's alive! Oh. But the strings are too stringy. Yeah. Yeah, string cheese going on. Two rounds up. He's missing the running twos in Tekken 8. I thought they made it easier. <laughs> Maybe that's a placebo effect. Who knows? No, they're definitely way <laughs> easier. Oh, yeah. I'll vouch for that. I'll vouch for that. Oh, there we go. Got the catch. Oh, Punch Perry didn't catch, but got the uh, button anyways. But uh, not enough. Poke on the board. We'll have to see what he can build from here. Woo! And again, ready for the duck on the throw. Yeah. His reaction's on points. As, as much as Dragunov has like really good strikes, really good mids, this throw game is really what makes him what makes him Dragunov. Oh, right? it's, it's so scary. And if King Ray, King Ray is feeling like he's taken away that that option from top by not he's not teching them, he's ducking them. And, uh, you know, it was something that we did see people go to a lot more, even in T7. Even when they started simplifying some of the throw break options, you still saw the, 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 uh, just the crouch just being the uh, better answer for it. Yeah. But it is scary. Woo! All these counter hits. And Ray might be going to game for it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. First game of grand finals. Yep. Now, don't get me wrong. I love me some disrespect. But there's some things that disrespect just doesn't always gonna uh, you know solve. Mm -hmm. It ain't a cure all. It ain't gonna fix everything that's broken. Ready for the next okay, you were talking about the um, we are doing the TWT rules from T7. Yes, sir. Uh, we hadn't seen someone pick their stage. They would just been doing the random select for so yeah, long that over and over. But Shab looks like he wanted to be on Coliseum. Oh yeah. Hey, my tournament's on the line. I get the option. By all means, I'm doing. It. And in, te in second seven, people don't know. Um, or if you don't, if you don't know, hammers, hammers. Whenever Chop felt like he was in danger, he would go to the infinite stages in seven. Absolutely. And you know, it's just kind of something that makes things just feel just that a little bit different. But also, when you have somebody like an Oscar that can have a little bit of a wall game to work, to work with, mm -hmm. it takes that card off the table. Round yeah. Two. Uh, so, you know, if we don't have an infinite stage, let's just go ahead and pick one that's as close to it as possible. Yeah, for sure. As, yeah, because the infinite stages in this game, you have to, like, work your way to them, and then he's finally infinite stage on round five. All those down two. It's a side wall, so he's going to keep it as simple as possible. Yep. Yeah. I like that adjustment, that combo off axis. Oh, that wall. Oh, that doesn't catch it. Button face movement, baby. Oh, but the counter throw. No kill, but that's a scary place to be in a wake up four is gonna bail out Ray. Oh, Ooh. I thought we were gonna see another double KO. I wanted it. The trade not working out for King Ray Jr. A little bit of, that was a, that was a big scramble at the end. Top minus blow out. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, after that string kind of just made everything miss. Things got crazy. Oh, there we go. Again, a down forward two getting blocked and punished. But a walk on the other end. Yeah. This time finding a mark. Oh, and a big slide from downtown. Oh. Woo! Right. Having a down forward two working immediately. Maybe there we chop. Go. Uh, besides chop, you know, he likes the infinite stages to make sure he's going to be able to, you know, no, no matter what kind of uh, reset or momentum happens, he's going to get to pull it back. But on this stage, he kind of has an advantage. With Dragunov has wall carry like no other character in the game. So he kind of acts, has access to walls that other characters do not. Ooh. And as I say that, as I explain that, King Ray Jr. brings Chop to the wall, reverses it on him. You know, but he did it in chunks, though. So I think yeah, your point yeah. still stands. But we do have a final round here, and this is going to be a big one. Answering back from loser side 1-1 one, one gets way easier than yep. it would be if you're down 2-0. Oh, but good catch, though. 
thing about Chop being an old uh, seasoned player is, yeah, going, having to win three games in a row to, just to reset is hard, but he's been here before. Oh, for sure. That might oh, be. Oh, let's go. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Let it rip. Caught a button out. And King Ray Jr. is one game away. Taking the first ever max mode, Tekken 8. No implications in saying first ever max mode. Nah, ever, of all time. Yeah, he's just gonna, he Round just might, might win max mode. That's just what that means. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Technically correct, the best <laughs> yeah. kind of correct. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try my best not to show my bias, but seeing Florida be able to take one home from here, uh, you know, you won't hear me complain. You mean uh, Southern Georgia? The Lower Georgia? Yeah, low, <laughs> Lower Georgia. Oh, I like that. I like that. I can't even be better. Oh, Ooh. no, but drops a combo oh. off the 4-2. That, that paw ain't pawing. Oh, nice, but it does get clipped on the wall. Oh. Okay. I don't even know what to say about that. So many of those moves just felt like they they whiffed of their own accord. You know, it, it's like it was intended to be. It was fate. Oh, Got up let's go. A delay. Round three. Yeah, extended that to get the round two. All right. But poke hanging tight. Definitely Good not block. frazzled, definitely not getting uh, that mental guard broken. To, to your point. Yeah, he's definitely, Top has been here before. He's played in very long sets. He's gonna have to find some more time to play in this one though. That's for dang sure. Yeah. All right, got a knockdown. We are doing just that, extending things a little bit, taking some time away. But this is definitely no. it. He's got he he's got yeah, the long rip. Yeah. And the hammer fist. King Ray Jr. tournament point here. Yeah, tournament round. After a pretty smooth three games, to be honest. Some of the rounds were yeah. very close, very scrambly, Ooh. but overall, it seems like King Ray Jr. really has a good game plan. Actually. And like it's been working out for him basically all throughout TA. Oh, been on a tear, and it's just gonna, it may just continue here. That's gonna do it. King Ray Jr., your max mode Tekken 8 champion. And in uh, some convincing fashion, no less. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That, um, I really love that up back one move where she just like grabs your face and throws it into the ground. <sighs> Faces to ground. Mm -hmm. But nah. Super, super strong play. I uh, got to imagine there's more, more where that came from. Mm -hmm. Poke Chop going to be taking second place, but definitely holding it down for Atlanta here, hometown. Yeah, Atlanta being uh, second, third, and fourth, as well as other, wait, I think also seventh and fifth. Where did... Y'all um, showed up to work. That's for dang sure. Where did Golden Seth end up placing? And uh, I mean, hands on site also uh, making this um, is showing in top eight. Also, yeah. I don't want to I don't want to leave out the non ATL people. Shout out to Subway, Subway. Uh, very cool uh, Leo. I was learning a lot from uh, his Leo on Friday in the uh, team tournament. I yeah. saw him do a lot of combos and like cancels that I never seen before. That's a good uh, dude. Shout out to Ken uh, Shinobi Kun. Um, yep. And of course, shout out to King Ray. Um, Winning the tournament, congrats to him. Yeah, heck of a run. A uh, heck of a way to really just kind of just get things going for Tech and uh in 2024. Mm -hmm. And to just get back here to Atlanta, yeah. you love to see it. Yeah. Getting ma medals handed out, getting in, kind of getting those vibes, getting around people. You know, that stuff's the best, man. Yeah, this has been a great event. Um, like I said earlier, you know, the arcade, um, arcade, the arcade room is always so much fun. Even though I, I, so I don't play on stick, right? 
So I always like to go to the arcade room and find like those games that are not, you know, that were before my time. Right. Uh, like you mentioned, uh, what's it called? Oh, 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 that virtual on. Yeah, yeah virtual on, virtual on. Um, I've seen it one time at Patrick's house. Shout out to Patrick. He does a lot of uh, work at different events, you know, behind the scenes guy. Yep. Um, I've seen it once at Patrick's house. And, uh, you know, there's always just like, you know, interesting games to play in there. Oh, for sure. For sure. But, uh, you know, heck of a weekend. It's good to see basically the entire Southeast getting back together, mm -hmm. you know, s showing those signs of life. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see what that means for the FGC moving forward out this way. Mm -hmm. you know, just yeah, letting things for just sure. really begin to blow up. Cause, uh, and we have a bunch of new games to play, too. We have Tekken 8, Street Fighter 6, um, Strive. People are still loving Strive. I know that, you know, with any new game, there's some growing pains. But I feel like overall, Strive doing really well throughout its life cycle. Uh, Melty Blood also here. That game is really fun. KOF 15, can't can't forget about it. We got a buffet going on, mm -hmm. is what we got. And and um, the new Mark of the Wolves game. Oh, my God, that does look so cool. Yeah, yeah. I saw t and I was like, okay, mm -hmm. maybe maybe we're doing our uh, grappling things again one mm -hmm. day. All right, but looks like we got Kraken on stage now, just kind of showing love to everybody. Mm -hmm. I got to show that love right back. It's been a fantastic weekend. The Data FGC crew, they've been holding it down. Scruffy City on the other stream as well. Yeah. God. Yeah. All all love. Yeah, I was about to say, can we get uh, player it's cam a little firm. bit? <laughs> We're going to try to, but I want to say thank you. Thank you to all my staff. The guys with the shirts, those are the MVPs right there. The guys running brackets all weekend long. I hope that you guys had a great experience. Thank you. Running thank brackets you on again. paper, by Share the way, with manually. The world. We can see you guys soon. You guys have a great one. Get home safe. Thank you. Thank you. We love to see it, man. Yeah, I think the uh, the biggest thing about this event is that it's really an event that's made up of a bunch of wish lists of from players, from players who have been to a lot of events, right? All the organizers have been to a lot of you know modern events, mm -hmm. uh, and so this is this feels like a sort of like evolution, a next generation of a type of organization. Uh, so that's that's what it feels like to me. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like those vibes have just been kind of just on point. Mm -hmm. uh, even kind of just kind of some behind the curtain stuff, some stuff that's just been like, hey, this is well thought out. It's people that know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and my one regret is that, uh, you know, it's got to end. Yeah, <laughs> it does have to end. But um, it doesn't have to end for everyone at home. You know, you can always follow the follow the YouTube. You can rewatch the uh, the grand finals for any any of the games. Yes, sir. Definitely uh, check out the KOF this third strike uh, yesterday, and um, and of course the Tekken was awesome. This game is going to continue to keep evolving. I can't wait oh, to yeah. see how people use their resources in this game. Um, you know how people kind of optimize. You know what's best for what whatever situation. Um, it's definitely. It's definitely in the infant stage right now, and it feels good. And that's the fun part, is just all those unknowns. Mm -hmm. You know, those questions that are going to be answered over the next year or two, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, maybe even longer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's exciting. Yeah. Uh, and I hope you all end up getting as excited about it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think we are about ready to close out. Once again, thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and we will see you around. Support your locals. Yep. Do it. <laughs>